Hey everybody, this is Andrew Lowen with Deliverance and I received a package. So this is gonna be using my trusty multi-tool. You can use that for anything. I am going to just get this open. So this is an unboxing of the latest um, Deliverance uh, prototype components. We're getting samples of things. Can't wait to figure out what's in this box. so that I don't stab myself. We decided to upgrade to two and a half millimeters of thickness. So things like this folding, that they'll unfold nicely. I'm so excited. They will unfold so nicely without any problems. Oh man, this looks like something we should play with. So it's beautiful. I was a little concerned that it might not be colorful enough, uh, but I actually think that it's it's great. Let me center it real quick. Then I'm gonna pull in. It's big, but it's oh, it's just like the perfect size for for deliverance. Got all sorts of interesting uh, Easter eggs, points of interest. Looks like they got everything. Things over here. So, got a second neoprene mat. Ooh, maybe. Oh, you can use one as a giveaway. I don't know. All right. Okay. Ooh. So this is actually a plastic tray for the minis, which I don't believe we have. But um, I'm, or you know, I, they had to make some changes to the minis. But the uh, miniature tray looks nice and solid, solid plastic. The uh, few things that we're gonna do. We're gonna take these, we're gonna move them down so that they kind of cover more of this space. And then we're gonna take this section, uh, turn it flat and then just expand it so that we use more area of this tray. Uh, but that's really exciting. Okay, and guys, it's our Courage Coins. Ooh, this looks so good already. I can tell. <laughs> kind of. First, they just, they look so nice and the, the clink is good. So the Courage tokens have, uh, so we decided to upgrade the number of tokens to 24 tokens. Um, the, uh, the flames just kind of pop in the light, don't they? So we're uh, so we upgraded to 24 tokens and we made them single sided because they they were really something that you want to play with. You just you want to hear that clink. So even though the game has a double sided courage token, you know that's cardboard. When you're playing with a really cool looking metal component like this, um, you know why would you want to double side it when you could just have twice as many? All right, so now. This is something that I was concerned about. Let's see how it turns out. This is the new, ooh, I can already tell there's a lot more depth here. So this is the angel side of the um, the giant, like large initiative token. To give you an idea of the size of the token, here it is in the palm of my hand. Um, this is pretty massive. It's, it's heavy and it's something that I wanna play with. Now, the other side of the token actually does look shredded in the way that I wanted it to. The demon, so the, the, the whole idea kind of came from Batman with the Harvey Two-Face coin, 
where one side, the both sides were heads, but one side was clawed up and he would use it to make decisions, you know, his coin. Um, but this is a heavenly uh, angel uh, coin. And so the demons have clawed up one side, um, just kind of a, a fun, fun piece. This is used to track the um, player initiative. So it looks, looks really nice. Ooh. Okay, so we have a couple of changes that we're planning on making to the dice anyway, but they sent us some samples that were, um, you know, just, just kind of rough, uh, rough dice, uh, you know, not the final colors yet. They just, for the, for the sake of the, um, the symbols here. Now, one thing I'll say is you'll notice that if you look at these uh, two sides here, the three and the six, the pips are different sizes on the six. Um, we are going to adjust this so that they're all even on every side. Um, so that way, I think the five is also a big problem. If you look at like the four and the five, um, they all, all the pips need to be the same size. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no, there's absolutely no way that you would possibly get the numbers wrong. Like the, the dice are just, are going to be super clear on the table. Even if they were, di even if these were the exact dice, which we're, you know, we're going to make some changes to them or we're in process actually, like you just won't, like you'll always know that's a four, even if it's far away. Um, you know, the, the closest together probably are the, this one and the four, and you, you can clearly tell them apart. So that's kind of exciting. I'm pretty sure that's it. The rest is just a bunch of... What do you mean by counting or by shape? Uh, by counting the pips or by shape when you say that? Both. So when you, you can count the pips pretty easily, but also I think that the shape, it, you know, when you play with these dice a bunch, the shape is really going to, um, unique to each side. yeah, be very unique to each side, unique enough that you can immediately tell what the differences are. And again, you know, you look at the, the pips and the differences, we're going to make the uh, five and the six. So six, you've got like little, almost like uh, rectangles instead of squares. And then the five, you've got like a larger square in the center and then like four rectangles on the outside, like those are gonna be fixed. Um, I'd like them all to look beautiful, exactly like this four here. Um, so, very nice. There you go. So, um, I don't know, should we run a giveaway or something for this second new frame map? Let me know, let me know in the comments what you think.